In this vlog, I'm gonna share with you how I got my hair from this to this. A thinning crown to a nice, beautiful, luscious head of thick hair, baby. I'm gonna share the products that I use and made the most difference, things that I tried and didn't really work so that you don't have to waste your time. And this is a vlog, so sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee with me, and let's have a conversation, shall we? I'm breaking my own rule this morning. My rule is always water first, then food, then coffee. I feel like that's just easier on the system. You know what I mean? In terms of like the body. I feel like just downing a bunch of caffeine in the morning on an empty stomach without drinking any water is just not ideal. I really feel like it stresses out your body after a while and could possibly affect hormones and different other things. I, I, I really believe that. And stress is very important, especially when it comes to hair thinning and hair loss. But I am breaking my rule today because I drank and ate like a fatty last night and I don't want any food, but I do want to wake up so I can shoot this vlog. So I was at the ripe age of 26. This was a year ago about that a friend of mine would tell me that my hair was thinning in the back. And me, immediately, in denial, I'm fine, don't tell me that shit. I would say, no, no, I have a, I have a pinwheel in my hair. I, in the back of my head, my hair goes in a circle like a tornado, it's always done that. And I've always had this center of the tornado that doesn't really have hair, because it's the center of the tornado, that's what I've always had. Then, out of nowhere, maybe about six or seven months ago, it was this rapid increase in hair falling out, in the shower, chunks of it, in my hand, clogging the fucking drain. I noticed myself in pictures, in videos, especially as I started vlogging more, and I realized, whoa, my hair's looking thin back there. People started to tell me as well. Hey, Stephen, you're balding a little bit, brother. I know. And that's when I was like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm accepting the fact that my hair is thinning. But only on the crown, nowhere else. So, the first things that I tried that didn't work. Number one, castor oil. I know about castor oil because I know that girls use it to thicken their eyelashes to grow longer, thicker eyelashes and, and eyebrows and things like that. So I started putting castor oil in my hair. I started putting jojoba oil, jojoba oil, whatever the fuck it's called, along with the castor oil too. Rosemary oil gel I would start using. Those really didn't do anything. Castor oil, sticky, thick, gooey, hard to wash out, just very inconvenient. And But I tried it, I stuck with it, and I didn't see any difference at all. So what I do next, back to the drawing board, baby. Back to the battle stations to map out a plan to attack the enemy. The enemy is Thinning Crown. So bam, here we go, products, baby, ready? The number one product that helped the most, bar none, Minoxidil. Minoxidil is a topical solution you rub onto your scalp. There's ones that foam up. I didn't use the foam one, I used the one from Roman. You basically set up a subscription. I get charged uh, X amount for, for a three month supply every three months and it just automatically gets shipped. I don't have to think about it. I have to go to the store and buy it. It's very easy, very simple. Boom, I love it. 5% solution is what men want to use. And it comes in these little bottles with a one milliliter dropper and the bottles are travel friendly, which is great. And what you have to do with minoxidil is apply it to your crown two times a day, once in the morning, once at night. And from my understanding, from what I've read on the packaging, it was very clear that minoxidil 5%, at least the solution that I have, only works for a thinning crown. Uh, it took three months to kick in. After three months, hair, full. Literally, we're chilling. My girlfriend, she's like, dude, your hair, like she was, she's, we've been dating through this whole process. Like she was dating me before I was on Minoxidil. And I remember I started taking it and I was like, hey, I'm taking this stuff for my hair. So, you know, let's see what happens in a few months. And we'll just be laying down, cuddling up. You know what I mean? And she's like, dude, your hair is full, like full and thick in the back, like major difference. So Minoxidil, super clutch, number one thing that helped for me. There's a catch. Remember I said you apply it twice a day? Well, you have to apply it twice a day, every day for the rest of your life. You stop using it all the benefits go away. Your hair goes back to the thin place that it was before you started minoxidil. You gotta use it for the rest of your life, man. You're gonna, you're gonna do this for the rest of your life? Like, that's, that fucking sucks. Dude, you shower every day. You brush your teeth for the rest of your life. You take your vitamins for the rest of your life. It takes 15 seconds to apply. And the benefits of having my hair back to normal outweighs having to do it every day for the rest of my life. It's really not a big deal. And you can take it with you anywhere. It's very, very low key, very easy to do, not a big deal. Next product that I do believe helped. This shampoo and this conditioner that have keratin, biotin, and collagen. I love these shampoos. They make my hair feel amazing. I know my hair's a fucking mess right now because I fucking put gel in it last night and I woke up and I haven't taken a shower yet, okay? So don't judge me now off of this, all right? But this shampoo and conditioner are great. I believe this thickened my hair a lot because minoxidil helps hair regrowth, helps the little follicles on your scalp regrow the hair, but overall, my entire head has thicker hair, which minoxidil wouldn't necessarily have contributed to because I'm only applying it to this little fucking scalp right here that helps hair regrowth, not necessarily hair thickness. This stuff works really good 
soft hair, and to my belief, thicker hair as well. Lastly, at the same time throughout this whole process, I started again, because I used to do it before, but I started taking collagen orally. So the conditioner has collagen, which you, you are applying topically. And collagen is a mix of amino acids that we don't get much in our diet anymore. You, you, you find it in bone broth, uh, in, in bones and joints and skin of animals. And what it helps with when you take it orally is actually a whole lot of things. I'm a big fan of collagen. It's actually a great supplement, but it can help with your hair, your skin and your nails, but also with your joints. So since I work out, I like to keep my knees and my joints healthy if I'm gonna be working out for the rest of my life. Uh, collagen is a great supplement to add on. I take collagen at night in a tea because collagen is really high in this amino acid in this amino acid called glycine. And when you take glycine at night orally, it helps reduce the symptoms of insomnia. It helps improve your sleep quality. So if you take collagen daily over time, you will notice your nails grow faster, maybe a little bit thicker. Your hair grows faster as well. I have to shave more often. So minoxidil helps basically regrow hair and open up these hair follicles on your scalp so that they're fresh in you again and they can regrow hair. Collagen potentially is helping the hair coming out of those follicles faster, right? So you get a faster result. Then on top of that, the shampoo and the conditioner overall help thicken the hair. That is my speculation. And I started all three of these things at the same time. Uh, but if if you're not gonna do all of those and your hair's fucked up, I would definitely say minoxidil or probably finasteride or whatever product you need is the way to go. And yeah, you do it every day for the rest of your life. It's really no big deal. It takes 15 seconds to apply. I absolutely love it. And that's it, folks. So cheers to science. Cheers to modern medicine, even though it has its flaws. But there are some amazing benefits that we've gotten from it. And I appreciate you watching this video. So if you like the vibe, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you in next week's vlog.